And so I was pretty happy with this scan. This might be like the best food scan that I that I have, actually. A couple quick demos today. So this first one, this is using the object placement demo, and then I was replacing some of the objects with some food scans that I did. So it will look for planes, and then it will place object. I'll do another one on this bench here, another one on the floor. Yeah, I wanted to do more here and just didn't get far along enough, but you can see this is a scan of this octopus dish, which was really good. So these are all like small slices of octopus. And then the cool thing is you can grab these and then this is a milkshake. I didn't do like the scan on this side, so a little empty there. And then this is, the cool thing is, yeah, you can drop these on different surfaces. This is just using the physics in, is it, it must be reality kit. And yeah, of course, there's nothing on the bottom here, so I need to flip this back over. Let's go, let's put this here. I'll place it on this bench. And yeah, you can grab these and then these will fall over. And a cool thing always is, which continues to be cool, is like the shadows that are cast by these AR objects on the detected surfaces. So yeah, you can see it's going, it appears to go over like that tape there. So what was this dish? This was some oysters that we had with different sauces. I didn't get the full scan here, but this was delicious. And then the last one, this is probably the best actual like scan here. So let me remove this and grab this. So this was at a Peruvian restaurant and on this side is Lomo Saltado. And yeah, I think I did actually get the, get all sides of this. So that was, Pretty nice though, some rice and beef, and then this is a steak from the steak with some plantains from the same restaurant. And the scan was done with a polycam and my iPhone, iPhone 15. So yeah, this was a really good scan. So I was pretty happy with this scan. This might be like the best food scan that I that I have actually. I'm just getting all sides of it. This is making me hungry. So maybe I want more of these and this just lets you create more of these and let's see, I'll just keep stacking them until. I guess not. And then I'll close this. And then this next one modified one of the samples from, so you'll see this says day 39. So this is from this repo by Satoshi0212, Vision OS 30 days. This is great. If you're just learning, he has, let me see if this is loaded up. Every day he was doing a demo, a very small demo. So it's great to like, it, it's like doing one thing at a time and very aspirational for me now. It, this is what I want to do is to be able to put demos like this together one piece of functionality at a time. So this has been great to just try out the different samples that he's put together. And here is, so this is day 39, this scene mesh. Yeah, it puts these wire, puts a wire frame together on the different surfaces. So I did that and then made again, like this is a very minimal change to it, to the point that it's not, this is more me just demoing someone else's thing. I could show you the small change that I made to it, but definitely check that repo out if you are learning. So this will, okay, so I'll go to, I'll just show like the three things that the demo has. So this is the progressive, or no, this is mixed view, which is just, it still shows like the camera and then Progressive, it's gonna be full here. And I think it's like a 180. And then, yeah, so then you still have 
the camera view behind. And then the full immersion is what you might guess is having the full one and it doesn't have this entire area scanned yet. Um, and then the one small change I made here is if I go to full, then tiny change here. I just have a color change thing. And it was interesting to learn this though, is that. So you'll see once I change it to red, I thought it was gonna be able to, or th yeah, I thought I had it set up so it would change everything all at once, but I guess it was putting it on like the anchor update. So it's like refreshing these wires each time. So now it's blue. And then once it detects the surface again, then it redraws the wires in that color. So you can see it's still red until like I get close enough. And then if I go to red, immediately it does everything like in my, in this frame that I'm looking at, but it'll be blue on this side until I look at it and then it will re refresh to red. And this should turn red. There we go. And that will turn red. So, that's it, really small change. And what I do understand right now is setting up some of these menus and then changing state variables. So that's that for right now. And I'll leave this. And that's the demo for this week. Two, two demos, really just slight modifications on some sample apps that are available. Thanks for checking this out.